Welcome back students. Uh, in the last video, we answered this question, isn't it? What is chemical kinetics? So what is your answer? You said chemical kinetics is a branch of chemistry which deals with the rate of reaction, factors affecting the rate of reaction and the mechanism of the reaction. Okay. Now, let us study one by one. What is rate of reaction? What are the factors that affect the rate of reaction? And how does a reaction takes place? That means the mechanism of the reaction. Okay. So I'm going to consider three reactions, which you know, which have already learnt. I'm not using, I'm not writing any reactions that you have not learnt. Okay. You have learnt these reactions either in your lower classes or in 11th standard. Okay. I hope you know this reaction. HCl reacts with a very simple reaction, a very common reaction, okay, and well versed reaction. HCl reacts with sodium hydroxide to form what? Yes, to form sodium chloride and water. Simple acid base reaction, or you call you also call it as neutralization reaction. Correct? Okay. Next, I'm gonna consider. rusting of iron that is nothing but corrosion okay and lastly this is it may seem difficult for you because you might not have come across this reaction okay we call it as acid hydrolysis of an ester acid hydrolysis of an ester okay let me consider any ester like okay methyl estate ch3 coo ch3 what is this methyl acetate is hydrolyzed in the presence of an acid okay to form you know this what is this yes acetic acid plus methanol plus methanol okay this reaction is called as acid hydrolysis of an ester you keep learning this reaction in so many other chapters in 12th standard so what are the different reactions that we have Okay, yes, HCl reacting with NaOH to form sodium chloride and water, rusting of iron and acid hydrolysis of an ester. Students, does these different reactions take place at the same rate? I, you know, I hope you know rate, when I say rate you should understand speed, okay, yeah. Now, does these three different reactions take place at the same rate? No. Definitely not. Different reactions will take place at different rate. Different reactions will take place at different speed. If you take up this neutralization reaction, this, okay, say I have HCl in one beaker and NaOH in one beaker. Now, I'm going to mix the two solutions. When do you get, when do you expect sodium chloride and water? When does the reaction gets completed? It does it take one hour, half an hour, one day, two day or months? No, the moment you mix HCl and NaOH, okay, soon, so, soon you mix in HCl and NaOH, you'll be expecting, you'll be getting sodium chloride and water, isn't it? It's an instantaneous reaction. The moment you mix, you'll get the product, correct? That means this is a very, very fast reaction, a fast reaction. It, it's going to be a very fast reaction, okay? It's just an instantaneous reaction. The, the instant you mix, the moment you mix, you'll get the product. A very fast reaction. How about rusting of iron? See, I have a nail nailed onto the wall. Okay, yes. How many days does it require to rust? It will take, it, it gets rusted in half an hour. It gets rusted in one hour. No, it gets rusted for months together. Okay, it gets rusted for years together. Am I correct? That means 
rusting of iron is one of the very very slow process it's a slow reaction slow reaction look at here look at the two contrast okay neutralization reaction is a very fast reaction rusting of iron corrosion is a very very slow reaction between these two extremes between these two extremes we have got certain reactions which are neither too fast nor too slow they are neither fast nor slow that means these reactions like acid hydrolysis of ester these reactions takes place at moderate rate they take place at moderate rate that means neither neither slow nor fast okay yes got it we have got wide variety of reactions the reactions which are fast the reactions which are slow and between these two extremes we have some reactions which are neither slow nor fast that means the reactions taking place at moderate rate so guys come on can you give some examples for the reactions taking place the reactions that are very fast yes neutralization reactions reaction between an acid and base okay any ionic reactions any ionic reactions are very fast got it okay can you give an example for the reaction which is very slow rusting of iron okay can you give some examples for a reaction taking place at moderate rate what is that acid hydrolysis of an ester guys in this beautiful chapter we will be dealing with this third type of reactions what type of reactions we don't consider the reactions which are fast or we don't consider the reactions which are slow we will be dealing with those reactions which are taking place at moderate rate which are taking place at moderate rate got it so come again what is chemical kinetics chemical kinetics is a branch of chemistry which deals with the rate of reaction factors affecting the rate of reaction and the mechanism of the reaction guys now we will deal with one one aspects in detail so first let us start with rate of reaction okay yes yes so beautiful that you are patient enough to hear my lecture okay yes the first concept rate of reaction okay we symbolize rate of reaction using small letter r okay wherever i say wherever i write r you should know that i am dealing with the rate of reaction so guys what is rate of reaction how do you define rate of reaction next question okay please go question question wise define rate of reaction define rate of reaction okay again let me consider the same general reaction okay where a reacts with b to form the products a reacts with b to form the products guys during the course of the reaction what happens to the concentration of the reactants and what happens to the concentration of the products i i know you have studied this concept in chemical equilibrium 11th standard please do remember okay try to memorize my question is when a reaction is taking place what happens to the concentration of the reactants and what happens to the concentration of the products concentration of the products i know i know that you know okay yes when a reaction takes place the concentration of the reactants keeps on decreasing both concentration of both of the reactants either it might be a or b the concentration of the both both the reactants keeps on decreasing whereas the concentration of the product let let me be any number of products okay the concentration of the product keeps on increasing okay when a reaction takes place 
the concentration of reactants decreases the concentration of products increases i hope you have written this graph in 11th standard concentration of reactants or concentration of products versus time what happens to the concentration of reactants it keeps on decreasing if it is a reversible reaction it attains okay yes yeah, when it attains equilibrium the concentration becomes constant what happens to the concentration of the product the concentration of the product keeps on increasing when the reaction attains equilibrium the concentration becomes constant constant is it have you not learned this in 11th standard the concentration of reactant keeps on decreasing the concentration of products keeps on increasing when a reaction takes place okay yes now as i said concentration of reactants decreases concentration of products increases see let us suppose if this reaction gets completed in 10 minutes if the reaction gets completed in 10 minutes let us say okay yes the reaction here we have reactants and here we have products okay what is the time to reach from reactants to products it's 10 minutes now as you know the reactants concentration decreases the products concentration increases what will be the decrease in the concentration of reactant in one minute how much of the concentration of reactant decreases in one minute or how much of the concentration of reactants decreases in one second or how much of the concentration of the reactant decreases in one hour what am i referring to i'm referring to unit time isn't it i'm referring to unit time okay one minute one second or one hour we refer it we, we call it as unit time okay how much of the concentration of reactants decreases in unit time or else how much of the concentration of products increases in unit time this is what we call the rate of reaction rate of reaction please understand again okay in when a reaction takes place concentration of reactants decreases the proportionately the concentration of the products increases okay now how much of it decreases or how much of it increases per unit time per unit time we call it as rate of reaction understood okay and are we clear yes how much of the concentration of reactants decreases how much of the concentration of products increases either in one minute or one second or one hour that means in in unit time is called as rate of reaction okay so let me define rate of reaction what is rate of reaction yeah rate of reaction is defined as it is defined as please write the definition okay yes it is defined as the decrease in the decrease in molar concentration we are talking about molar concentration the decrease in molar concentration of any one of the reactant any one of the reactants reactants or products products per unit time per unit time when i say unit time what is unit time it might be one minute one second or one hour is called as is called as what rate of reaction okay come again what is rate of reaction rate of reaction is defined as the decrease in molar concentration of any one of or i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry okay it is not decrease okay it is decrease with respect to reactants and it is increase with respect to products isn't it it is decrease with respect to reactants and increase with respect to products so let us it is both increasing as well as decreasing am i correct so we we will change this definition as the change what is the change with respect to reactants the change is decreasing what is the change with respect to products increasing am i correct so i define the rate of reaction as the change in molar concentration of any one of the reactants 
or products per unit time. You should know what is the change with respect to reactants? Decrease in molar concentration. What is the change with respect to products? Increase in molar concentration per unit time is called as rate of reaction. Rate of reaction. Got it? Okay. I, I said in this definition, I, I have used this. One of the reactant, isn't it? One of the reactant. If, I, if suppose A reacts with B to form the product C and D, I have got two reactants and I have got two products. Am I correct? I have got two reactants and I have got two products. Say, in a, no, in a motorbike, okay, no, there are three persons. Three persons are traveling in the same motorbike. Okay, don't you think, okay, the speed of this person will be same as this person as well as this person? And the speed of these persons will be same as the speed of the motorbike? Yes, same here, the speed of this reaction with respect to A, is same as the speed with respect to B as well as with respect to C and with respect to D. That is why we refer the rate of the reaction with respect to any one of the reactant or one of the product because the speed with respect to all the reactants and the products will be the same, will be the same. So that is why any one of the reactants or products per unit time. Okay. So what is, how do you define rate of reaction? the change in the molar concentration of the reactants or products per unit time. The molar concentration of reactants decreases, molar concentration of products increases. Okay, understood. So, shall we uh, write an equation? Shall we write a mathematical expression for rate of reaction? What will be that mathematical expression? Rate of reaction is given as decrease in decrease in molar concentration of reactants. I hope you know molar concentration is written using square brackets. Whenever I use square brackets, it, it means it is understood. Molar concentration, decrease in molar concentration of reactants with respect to time interval or else it might be equal to increase in molar concentration of products with respect to time interval with respect to time interval, okay. So what is the mathematical expression for rate of reaction? Rate of reaction is decrease in the molar concentration, okay, divided by time interval or it is equal to increase in the concentration of products divided by time interval, okay. Symbolically, R is equal to del R divided by del T, del, okay, yes decrease okay del r divided by del t or del of p divided by del t whenever i say del of r divided by del of p it is nothing but final rate final you know, fi final molar concentration minus initial molar concentration divided by final time okay to initial time that's it. I hope you are able to understand. I hope you are able to understand. Final concentration minus initial concentration divided by final time minus initial time. This is what I mean. Del R by del T. Got it? On the same lines, del of P divided by del T is nothing but final okay, concentration of products minus initial concentration of products divided by final time minus initial time. Minus initial time. I hope it is clear now. Guys, rate of reaction. R is equal to decrease in the molar concentration of reactants divided by time interval or it is equal to increase in the molar concentration of products divided by time interval okay that is r is equal to del r divided by del t or it is equal to del of p divided by del t i hope you have learnt what is chemical kinetics what is rate of reaction and the mathematical expression for rate of reaction i'm going to st stop this video here so we'll come back for the next video. Thank you so much.